I'm unboxing the Samsung 850 EVO solid state disk and wait, 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 wait a minute, Everson. Everybody knows that SSDs are faster than traditional mechanical magnetic hard disks, but SSDs cost too much. Actually, SSD prices are dropping so much that we bought this 500 GB SSD to upgrade a 5-year-old PC notebook. He won't believe how easy it was to transfer all data and how much faster this old computer became. Check it out! I bought my first Samsung SSD two and a half years ago for my MacBook White 2009, which, because of the upgrade, is still very usable today. We also have a 2011 PC notebook, still running Windows 7. It was never fast, but now it is so slow it takes 5 minutes from boot to finally being able to open a web page. That's terrible! I don't want to format and reinstall Windows and everything, I just want it fast. Here comes my second Samsung SSD, same capacity, 500 GB, but now it has cost me less than half of what I paid in 2013. It comes with software for cloning your old disk and instructions for doing it on desktop and notebooks, with the exact same steps I'll follow. But it doesn't bring the USB SATA adapter cable you need for the data migration. I will use an external USB hard disk case instead. I installed the data migration software that came on the CD and followed the instructions. The boring part is to wait for the whole hard disk content to be copied to the SSD. Six hours later and it was done and ready for the next step, replacing the hard disk drive. I must admit, this notebook was way easier than my MacBook to perform hard disk or RAM substitutions. Very mundane, normal size Phillips screws, very easy access. On the first boot, the system detects and adjusts for the new drive. I turn it off again and we are ready for the real test. Go! Ready to log in on 20 seconds. And browsing the web in less than one minute. What a difference! I previously measured the read and write speed of that old hard disk to compare it with the SSD speed and the numbers show why the computer gets so much faster. So, what are you waiting for? Thanks for watching.